The attack on Israel has sent shockwaves around the world, including right here in the Quad Cities. TV6's Kyle Bales sat down with a local Jewish community leader to hear his reaction to the tragic events that are unfolding. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the country is at war after a Palestinian militant group called Hamas launched a massive and coordinated attack on Israeli soil this weekend, which has already killed hundreds of men, women, and children. Earlier today, I spoke with Alan Ross, who heads the Jewish Federation of the Quad Cities, to learn how this brutal assault affects the local Jewish community. It's a terrible, terrible nightmare. The attacks on the Democratic State of Israel have stunned the Jewish community. It's the most horrific attack on Jews since the uh, 48 War of Independence and actually the Holocaust. It's been 75 years since Israel fought to become an independent state. And the scars of history continue to haunt survivors and their families. The events currently unfolding have opened up deep wounds of the past. It's, it's beyond belief. As the son of a Holocaust survivor, and I have the Jewish star here, um, with Holocaust survivors, to include my father, they've always said, if somebody says they're going to kill you, believe them. Hamas says they're going to kill Jews, so we got to believe them every day of the week. Although the gunfire and airstrikes are taking place thousands of miles away from the Quad Cities, it still hits home. Well, Israel is our, really our, one of our home countries. I mean, it's, uh, uh, we're all, every time we pray, we face toward Jerusalem. It's our ancestral home. It's, uh, it's, it's where Judaism was born. Now, Alan says his organization is in close contact with other federations across North America and groups in Israel. He told me they will be prepared to send help as soon as it is safe to do so to help rebuild. And the 20th annual Night to Honor Israel event will be held next Sunday at River City Church in Moline. Doors open at 530 in the evening with the event starting at 630.